Today we're going to do a follow-up to our half kneeling video and we're going to go over some great half kneeling exercises that you can do at home with minimal or no equipment. The first couple exercises I'm going to show you are body weight only, but keep in mind for dumbbell exercises you can always use something as simple as a water bottle or a soup can. If you're new to half kneeling, a great place to start is with inline half kneeling and balance. Find a straight line on your floor or you can make one or imagine one. You just want to get your back foot, your down knee, and your front foot all on the same line. So we're going to find our good half kneeling position and stabilize with our hip. Once you're really good here, then we'll start practicing lifting our up leg. See how long you can keep that foot off the floor. There are a couple great half kneeling exercises that can be done with dumbbells. The first one I like to start with is curls and presses. Most people know how to curl and press, so this shouldn't be too hard. Just remember we're trying to stabilize your balance on your down leg, so you don't want to move your body as you do it. Just move through your arm. If you have to move your body to do these exercises, shoot for a lighter weight. So here's our curls, and then if you have great shoulders and no pain, you can take that overhead. This position is harder because we want to lean back to do it. Really try not to lean back as you go. Another great exercise that can be done with a dumbbell are half kneeling press outs. Keep in mind that this one is more for your core than your arms, and if your shoulders hurt, you do not have to go out all the way. So you're just going to hold one dumbbell by the ends, and you're going to push out and breathe out. As you do that, try to pull your shoulders down, keep your elbows in, and breathe out hard. You should feel a whole lot in your abs. You're going to feel a little bit in your shoulders. Again, if you have shoulder pain, don't worry about going all the way out. Just do a little short one. That is usually enough to kick on your core. Another great exercise is half kneeling lifts. To perform a half kneeling lift with your dumbbell, just hold one dumbbell with both hands, bring it up to your chest, stabilize with your hips. So really squeeze your hip, turn, Push your dumbbell out, breathe out, back to start position. These are challenging. You're gonna feel these more in your hips than you will your arms. This can also be done with a band. So if you have a band, you just attach it at a low anchor point and do the same thing. Really try when you do your list to not kick your hips out too far. Another excellent exercise that you can do in half kneeling if you have a band is chops. Chops are the opposite of lifts. So instead of going up, we're coming down. First thing you always do is make sure your half kneeling is good and stabilize with your down hip as you do this. Try to never move those hips. We're gonna start across from us. So you're gonna kinda need to be at an angle to your band. I'm gonna bring my hands to my chest and then straight down to my legs. As you push down, breathe out and try to sink your shoulders in. Let's see if I can give you a side view. You want to make sure you're chopping to your down leg. So really crank those shoulders into the floor and squeeze that down hip. One of my personal favorite exercises in half kneeling that you can do uh, also if you have a band is half kneeling lat pull downs. This can be done with one arm or two arm depending on the tightness of your band. All we're going to do for a lat pull down is start in our good half kneeling position and try to get as close to under the band as you can. The next move we're gonna do is pull our shoulders down. So this is a lat pull down. These are our lats cranking on that shoulder. So start with your shoulders. We're gonna follow with our elbows. And then relax. Straight down. And then relax. Remember your goal is to always be stable on your down leg. The last two exercises I have for you today are exercises that'll get your heart rate up. So these are excellent ones if you have um, an ankle injury, you can't jump, if you can't do the normal stuff to get your heart rate up, these are a great idea. And it also helps strengthen your hips in a safe position. The first one is half kneeling medicine ball slams. Grab a medicine ball. You can also do this with a pillow at home. So if you don't have a medicine ball, grab a pillow. Lift above your head and slam it. Some people have really bouncy medicine balls like this one. Other people might have a slam ball. 
that'll just sit there. That's okay. Just pick it up, throw it. Again, your goal here is try to be real stable. So if you're wobbling everywhere when you do this, try to lock those hips off. And work on going fast, getting that heart rate up. The second of our more cardiovascularly challenging exercises is going to be half kneeling ropes. Half kneeling ropes, you might not have a rope in your basement, but you can use this at a gym. Again, it's just really good uh, getting your heart rate up if you cannot jump or run or things of that nature. All we're gonna do is get our half kneeling, lock that down hip, I'm gonna say it every time, and get after your ropes. Try to be as stable as you can. Don't fight the ropes. Don't bend too hard. Let's get your heart rate up. There are many variations of ropes you can do to keep you moving. So you can try those if you happen to have ropes somewhere. We hope you guys enjoyed the video and we hope these half knee leg exercises help you become more stable and more balanced.